Hi everyone, it's Tish with Naptime Creations. Welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel. And if you're new, don't forget to subscribe. It's free and it'll help me out a lot. So hit that subscribe button. Today we're going to be making a really fun project. I got these molds from Let's Resin. There is a melted lollipop and a melted popsicle. We're going to be pouring these today. I'm going to take this holographic glitter from Let's Resin, just sprinkle a little bit inside the mold, and then I'm going to burnish it, um, brush it down to make sure it is laying flat, and then we're going to fill up the molds. I'm going to be using teal and silver from that set of glitters. I'll link these glitters down below in the description box along with these molds. And this is just a little makeup brush. You can get it from Dollar Tree or your local drugstore, even Walmart. It's just a soft brush um, for eyeshadow, so you can use one of those to just brush that uh, glitter down, or you could use a regular paintbrush, whatever you want to do. Take your time with it. I sped that little section up, but I'm making sure that I get every spot in the mold covered with that glitter because you don't want any bare spots. So just really kind of go over it a few times and make sure that every spot is covered with that glitter. And I didn't clean my brush off after I did the silver one. I just took it and kind of banged it on the side of my table here and any of the excess glitter went out of the bristles on the brush. So I didn't clean it or anything like that. I used the same brush for both of these, but look at how pretty this is looking. I am going to run my resin through my airless bubble removal machine. I have a full tutorial showing how to use this machine. It's really easy to use and it removes 99% of bubbles out of your resin. I use it every time I use resin now and I'm using the Let's Resin Epoxy today. I really wanted to put the Let's Resin epoxy to the test and see how deep I could pour it um, in one pour. So we're going to be pouring both of these in one pour. This lollipop, the blue one, isn't super deep. It's about an inch deep, but this melted popsicle one, that one is really deep. So I wanted to try to do it all in one pour just to see how it would turn out. And when you are filling up your molds, when you have glitter or mica powder burnished or brushed all over your mold. You don't just want to pour your resin in one spot when you're filling up your mold. You want to take your cup and move it around because if you pour that resin right in the same spot, it can make the glitter or the mica powder move so you will have a bare spot on your finished piece. So just keep that in mind. Move your cup around as you're filling up your mold. We're almost done filling these up. I did have a few little surface bubbles um, just because of the depth of these molds. So I'm taking my silicone paintbrush and I'm just popping those really easily. You could also use a spritz of 91% isopropyl alcohol or a heat gun to pop those bubbles. I let them cure for 24 hours and here we are getting ready to take them out of the molds. I was really excited to see how these turned out because I had never poured the Let's Resin Epoxy this deep before and it worked out perfect. Look at how awesome this turned out. And I was thinking that the center little raised area on this lollipop would look really neat if I went in with some rhinestones and just kind of blinged that center section out. So I think I might do that in a future video. So make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel, Naptime Creations, so you don't miss that video. I took one of the little lollipop sticks. I took a silver one, put it right inside the melted lollipop, and here's how it looks with a pink one. This mold set comes with a few of the lollipop sticks and the popsicle sticks as well. It's got everything you need in there to make these. Now this one I was a little bit nervous for because I, this one is really deep compared to the lollipop. I didn't know if it was going to cure, if it was going to work out, if I poured it too deep, but it actually worked out perfectly. So you can pour that Let's Resin Epoxy deep. Um, this mold, I would say it's about three inches deep or a little bit more than three inches even turned out perfectly which is amazing you can use that resin for deeper pores if you want to which is really nice I love when you can use one type of resin for different types of applications then you don't have to go buy a bunch of different brands to work on different projects here's how the little melted popsicle turned out so cute I think this one's my favorite let me know which one you prefer down in the comments the popsicle or the lollipop and as always I'll link all the materials I used down below in the description box along with the coupon codes that I have 
Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel, Naptime Creations. It's free and it helps me out a lot. And definitely go check out a few more of my other videos. That also helps out my channel if you watch a few of my videos back to back. Thanks again for watching. I hope you're all doing wonderful and I will see you soon for another video. Bye guys.